Tut, tut, tut. Those trucks of yours. Disgraceful behavior. I wouldn't put up with nonsense like that. I'm Bradford. Take me along with you and I'll show you how I deal with troublesome trucks. Well, okay, Bradford. Couple me up face in them, Thomas. I need to keep an eye on this bothersome bunch. <laughs> I'm in charge now, so no bumping and none of you a cheek. Huh? But we like bumping. Not on my watch, Betty. This is now a bump-free zone. Oh, dear, how sad. Never mind. When you're ready, Thomas. Steady now, you motley lot. With such a wonderful break, Vanna's Bradford. I wish my trucks were that well-behaved. <laughs> Then there was trouble. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Bradford, what's wrong? According to the official Railway Safety Guideline Manual, the level of stone in these cars is nine millimeters too high! What? You'll have to empty some of them out, Thomas, before I can allow you to proceed. Thomas, following the rules is more important than being on time. You're very late! Oh, huh. Be my guest with. His name's Bradford. Okay, Bradford. Ready to roll? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop right there! You are going nowhere until these mucky cars have cleaned themselves up. No matter. A dirty car is a disorderly car. Now, off to the washdown. Hut, hut, hut. Move it, move it. Oh. And it wasn't just Thomas and Whiff who found themselves delayed by Bradford. Hello, Bradford. Henry, I noticed a tiny crack in your lamp. That'll need to be replaced. Safety always comes first, Henry, even when fish are involved. And Bradford was the only brake van available. Oh, no. Without a brake van. <laughs> Thomas? Thomas! Hold on! I need to speak to you! Hello, Bradford. I'm sorry for ignoring you when you called me before. Oh, uh, right. But I wasn't calling you about that, Thomas. Uh, I was calling to say goodbye. <clears throat> It is with great regret that I must inform of my decision to leave this island. I'm sorry to let you all down when you're depending on me and your time of need, You but mean I... you're leaving? Please don't make a fuss. I know how much you all appreciate me. Don't try to talk me out of it. No sad faces, no tears. I've made up my mind. I'm going back with my old pal, Samson. We make a great team, Bradford and I. See you next time we're on Sodor. Bye! See you soon. Can't wait. Good luck. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> no tooting whistles whilst stationary. <laughs> oh, all right then. Just this once. Toot away. <laughs> and the line continues over the Vickerstown Bridge, where it connects to the mainland beyond. And his brake van, Bradford, quarry. <clears throat> According to the official railway rule book, birds are not allowed on goods cars. <clears throat> oh, hello, Bradford. Are you sure those crates are correctly secured to your flatbed, Thomas? Yes, thank you, Bradford. Perfectly secure. Oh. Enough nattering. We're already running 32 seconds late. Let's go, let's go. Come on, move it, move it. But nobody had warned them about the detonators. I'm sure this isn't the way to the Blue Mountain Quarry. You must have taken a wrong turn in the fog. Yeah, what was that? Yeah! Fireworks! Fireworks! No, Samson, those aren't fireworks. They're fog detonators! <laughs> Samson, stop screaming! They're not fireworks! Get a grip! And he's not listening. Fireworks! Fireworks! Oh, excuse me, what are you playing at? This isn't 
a shunting yard. Finally. Oh, sorry. They weren't fireworks. I've been trying to tell you. Those bangs were fog detonators to warn you about signals in the fog. Oh. Oh, indeed. Now we're lost in the fog in the middle of nowhere. But what do we do now? Nothing we can do, boyo, except sit here and wait for the fog to lift. Ahem. <coughs> uh, sorry. Oh, uh, fog hasn't lifted. No, it hasn't. And now it's dark, too. <sighs> what, what, what was that? Fireworks? Not on the tracks. Up there, in the sky. See, Samson? They're not scary. In fact, they look beautiful. Lovely colors and that. Oh, look at that one. They're not just pretty, my lad. Useful, too. Useful? That must be the Earl's firework display. If we follow the fireworks to the castle, then we'll know where we are and we can find our way home. Of course not, but we can't stay here all night. Step to it now. Follow those whistles and bangs. Oh, 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 oh. It's working, Samson. The fireworks are helping us find our way. Well done, Samson. Section 38 of the Railway Rule Book says engines who face their fears are very, very useful. Need you mean I... you're leaving? Please don't make a fuss. I know how much you all appreciate me. Don't try to talk me out of it. No sad faces, no tears. I've made up my mind. 